Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, is the space agency of India. The organization is involved in science, engineering and technology to harvest the benefits of outer space for India and the mankind. ISRO is a major constituent of the Department of Space, DOS, Government of India. The department executes the Indian space program primarily through various centers or units within ISRO. ISRO was previously the Indian National Committee for Space Research, INCOSPAR, set up by the Government of India in 1962. As envisioned by Dr. Vikrama Sarabhai, ISRO was formed on August 15, 1969 and superseded INCOSPAR with an expanded role to harness space technology. DOS was set up and ISRO was brought under DOS in 1972. ISRO has its headquarters in Bengaluru. Its activities are spread across various centers and units. Launch vehicles are built at Vikram Sarabhai Space Center, VSSC, Tiruvananthapuram. Satellites are designed and developed at UR Rao Satellite Center, URSC, Bengalore. Integration and launching of satellites and launch vehicles are carried out from Satish Dhawan Space Center, SDSC, Sriharikota. Development of liquid stages including cryogenic stage is carried out at Liquid Propulsion Systems Center, LPSC, Valamala and Bengaluru. Sensors for communication and remote sensing satellites and application aspects of the space technology are taken up at Space Applications Center, SAC, Ahmedabad and remote sensing satellite data reception processing and dissemination is entrusted to National Remote Sensing Cent. Successful missions accomplished by ISRO as on today. Department of Space, DOS, is Government of India Department mandated with the execution of Indian Space Programme. The Department of Space has evolved the following programs with the objective of promoting and developing application of space science and space technology. 124 spacecraft missions. 93 launch missions. 15 student satellites. 2 re-entry missions. 431 foreign satellites. 3 satellites realized by Indian private players, which includes projects like Chandrayaan-3, Mangalyaan and many more. Upcoming project by ISRO for future, Aditya L1. Aditya L1 shall be the first space-based Indian mission to study the sun. The spacecraft shall be placed in a halo orbit around the Lagrange Point 1, L1, of the Sun-Earth system, which is about 1.5 million kilometers from the Earth. A satellite placed in the halo orbit around the L1 point has the major advantage of continuously viewing the sun without any occultation, eclipses. This will provide a greater advantage of observing the solar activities and its effect on space weather in real time. The major science objectives of Aditya L1 mission are Asterisk study of solar upper atmospheric, chromosphere and coronal, dynamics Asterisk study of chromospheric and coronal heating, physics of the partially ionized plasma, initiation of the coronal mass ejections, and flares Asterisk observe the in-situ particle and plasma environment providing data for the study of particle dynamics from the Sun. X-ray polarimeter satellite, X-Post. X-Post, X-ray polarimeter satellite, is India's first dedicated polarimetry mission to study various dynamics of bright astronomical X-ray sources in extreme conditions. The spacecraft will carry two scientific payloads in a low Earth orbit. The primary payload POLIX, polarimeter instrument in X-rays, will measure the polarimetry parameters, degree and angle of polarization, in medium X-ray energy range of 8-30 kilo electron volts photons of astronomical origin. NASA ISROSA, NISAR, satellite. NASA ISROSA, NISAR, is a low-Earth orbit, LEO, observatory being jointly developed by NASA and ISRO. NISAR will map the entire globe in 12 days and provide spatially and temporally consistent data for understanding changes in Earth's ecosystems, ice mass, vegetation biomass, sea level rise, groundwater and natural hazards including earthquakes, tsunamis, volcanoes and landslides. NISAR. It carries LNS Dual Band Synthetic Aperture Radar, SA, which operates with sweep SA technique to achieve large swath with high resolution data. The SAR payloads mounted on integrated radar instrument structure, IRIS, and the spacecraft bus are together called an observatory. Gaganyan. Gaganyan project envisages demonstration of human spaceflight capability by launching crew of three members to an orbit of 400 km for a three days mission and bring them back safely to Earth by landing in Indian seawaters. 
India becomes the first country to reach South Pole. Chandrayaan-3 has reached the moon's surface, making India the first country to reach the moon's South Pole.